Okay, I'm starting to think that I'm not actually the Megazord and instead the thing that the Megazord would come to fight because I'm giant evil robot Thor, right? I could just summon the power. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to V-Robot. Now, growing up with the Power Rangers, surprisingly, I wasn't all that interested in the kung fu fighting spandex wearing heroes. No, I wanted to be the Megazord. I wanted to be Voltron. I wanted to be Gundam. I wanted to be a giant robot that would fight with giant weapons and be a giant badass. And as far as I can tell, that's what this game is. So my inner child is currently freaking out. So far, they've given me a pair of giant robot hands, so it's a start. And speaking of my inner child, is that you, inner child? Oh. Okay, now I'm a giant. <laughs> Why would I be baby size? Can I go bigger? No. Okay, so this is as good as we can do. And I think I get to work my way through these towns and work my giant robot magic, so let's start over here. Get max score in a minute 30. Uh, okay. I am so big. This is a very different perspective from what I'm used to in VR. Look at these little guys. What are you up to, sir? You're just going about your day, making your deliveries to the Death Star? Uh, actually, hold on here. I might be able to help you with that. Uh, more not. First time being a robot, sorry about that. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I got score for whipping that guy into this building. Is he still a... Is he still around? Oh, that's my bad. My bad, I was just checking to see if that guy was okay. I didn't, I didn't mean to do these things. <laughs> First time robot guys, I'm trying my best. What's wrong with those buildings? What's going on over here? The inner city, we got some basketball, and we've got glowy buildings? Why glowy buildings? <laughs> I feel really bad, but at the same time, this is fantastic. Look at the little people! Hey! I'll be back. You're a little robot! Oh my god, you're so cute! Oh, that's right! I read about this game that uh, apparently smaller robots and self-driving cars took over the world. So they decided to release giant robots like me to take the world back. That doesn't seem like a great plan, right? It's kind of like the snake and the mongoose. If you have a snake infestation, you release a bunch of mongoose, then you have a mongoose infestation. <laughs> What's gonna stop me from taking over, huh? You? I don't think so. <laughs> Well, now I don't feel nearly as bad if they're self-driving cars. They're taking jobs away from hard-working robots, I guess. What's playing in the cinema over here? I'm sure I can grab you. A uh, simple western coming soon to a moon near you. Oh, my joke. Look at these little robot jerks. <laughs> they didn't take over the planet and make it into some kind of dystopian future. They're just living the lives of humans, and you know what? I don't appreciate it because... Actually, wait a minute, I'm a giant robot. Was that an office chair that just flew out of this building? <laughs> okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. I don't like little robots, so I think Here's you guys want to go answer. for a swim. That was anticlimactic. I'm doing a pretty good job being Godzilla. Uh, I wonder if I could pull a King Kong. I don't really want to touch this because I think it'll explode, but maybe I can... Yeah, maybe I can climb up it? Okay. Oh, oh, a plane just flew through me, and I think I'm going to throw up. I can feel the sweat underneath my feet. Oh, VR heights are gross. Stop doing that, planes. Oh, I want down. I want down. I want down. Where are the little people? People. I want to grab more little robots. I can't find them because I'm terrified. Hello, little one. The size doesn't matter. Well, the size doesn't matter, does it? That's what she wants you to think. Trust me, dude, your processor size definitely matters. I mean, look at me. I'm big, and I can throw you in the ocean. <laughs> Why are the buildings glowing? I think I get extra points if I crush them, maybe? I can actually shake stuff out of them? That's amazing! What did I just get out of this? 
<laughs> oh, it's gone. It looked like a little pinball machine and some washers and dryers and stuff. I've made a bit of a mess. Sir, sir, I wanted to apologize, sir, sir, sir. Please, sir, let me apologize. Put me back. No, I don't want to put you back. I'm going to grab you right between your eyes and apologize to your face, okay? I'm sorry for destroying everything that you love. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Look, how about this? I found you a lovely oh, lady transform. bot. And, uh, you guys can just... There you go. You see? Size doesn't matter. Look! Little robots! Look! See? I know how to have fun! Right? Why won't you guys love me? Why do you need a drugstore if you're all robots? What could drugs do? <laughs> this was fun, but I feel like it's been way more than a minute and a half. What was I supposed to be doing again? There's a door over here. Hold the door. I can't. There's a green screen. Uh, oh, I'm leaving. Okay, I see. So each one of these is a different stage, and I can go and try to get a score? So this one was a fisty level. What are you? Some kind of cannon? Because I like cannons. Get max score in two minutes. And Potato Iron Man is looking over me. <laughs> Whoa. That's not my hand. Oh, yes, please. So sorry, sorry. Still getting used to the whole new hand thing. This is amazing. I'm sorry, man. I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> God, every time I pick up a tower, a plane flies in through it. I can launch stuff and pick stuff up. Oh, this just makes life so much easier. Screw all your little robots. I'm just going to keep bashing them off my head. <laughs> it's a nice little suburb you got there. It'd be a shame if somebody launched it into itself. <laughs> I want to get a tower to do that, actually. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Canadian robot, right? We still need to apologize. Boop. A little bit high. We can perfect it, though. Don't worry. We just got to... We just gotta aim down. Okay, we got plenty of attempts here. There's a whole lot to work with. Eh, that's the stuff. Are you proud of me, Potato Iron Man Papa? Look, I whack the planes out of the air. Wonder if I can rapid fire pull them out of the ground. I don't even need to move. Level complete. New record. Oh, that's the door appears when my time runs out. I see. Well, like that's no fun. So we had the Death Star. Now we have Potato Iron Man. Can I, can I grab you? No, can I sacrifice something to you? Boop. Uh, is it gonna get there? Is it gonna get there? Ah, oh, a little short. Man, if he's that far away, he must be huge. I was about to leave, but I'm kind of curious if I can grab that boat. I mean, I'm sure I can grab you. Little police boat. You can just... I was gonna let him down and let him float away, but I guess screw that. Can I get the oil tanker? Oh, baby. <laughs> this thing is huge. Oh, come on. I was having fun. This thing is so unpredictable. Listen, little guys, I really didn't mean it. Can I pass the Voigtkamp test? Is that the test where you throw somebody into the ocean? Because I'm pretty sure... Uh... Yep. Yep, I think that's a pass. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. So I played through a few more levels with my fists and the tractor beam, and it was pretty much the same thing. Not really worth showing to you guys, but this is definitely different. Get max score in a minute 30, and... Um... What are you exactly? I can make tornadoes? <laughs> I have a tornado face. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh yeah, I don't even need to do any work, really. Let's just uh, head over toward the middle of town. Yeah, some nice tall buildings. Get a little higher up. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, little guy. Oh no. Oh no, you guys really don't want to make a run for that bridge. You don't want to make a run for that bridge. I got you now, little robots. Come to me. Oh, 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 okay. A little premature. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You know, it happens to the best of us sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. The building pieces. This isn't what I wanted. 
Level complete. Your score, not so much. I made a beautiful mess, don't get me wrong. It's really something else, and I managed to sweep some people off their feet, but it's not quite as destructive. We've done giant robot fists, we've done tractor beams, we've done tornado attachments. Now, we're moving on to a giant hammer? Get max score in a minute. What? Are you kidding me? I'm giant robot Thor! Okay, I'm starting to think that I'm not actually the Megazord, and instead the thing that the Megazord would come to fight, because I'm giant evil robot Thor, right? I could just summon the power. <laughs> this is amazing! Oh my god, yes! And it comes back to me. What if I actually just throw it though? What if I, eh. Okay. This is dope. I'm crossing so many things off of my childhood to-do list. Oh no, I don't care about my score. I'm here to blow stuff up. Ah, we need superhero VR games. I need to be Thor. I need to be Potato Iron Man. I just need to blow up stuff because, um, yeah, this, this was real effective. Sorry about this, guys. I got a little bit carried away. There's a whole lot of rubble and not a whole lot of buildings. Uh, we could still go over here, though, right? Do you guys like to get blown up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to say that this is... Super, super illegal. Copyright infringement, but at the same time, I do not care. New life goal. We're gonna hit a plane with Thor's hammer. It's gonna happen. We're just gonna... Ah, oh god, it's so awkward. Okay, first time giant robot and superhero. Just give me a couple of tries here. You can't escape the power of Thor. What the hell? Come on, Mjolnir, work with me here. Is it possible for planes to laugh at you? Because I feel like this plane is laughing at me, but it doesn't even realize that I'm worthy. I am so worthy. Work with me here, okay? I can't have you be thrown this way. Why are you red? That was weird, but sometimes you'll do that and you'll, you'll go over there. What are you doing going over there? The plane is over this way, okay? We're just gonna... Come on, dude. Don't argue with me here. I may or may not have found the plane's weakness! <laughs> yes! That's what you get for flying close to traffic, okay? That's dangerous, right? You, you can't be dangerous in a city like this. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of V Robot, guys. And you'll have to let me know if you wanna see a second video, because there are a bunch of levels that I haven't gotten to, and I do think some of them have me fighting off against another robot which would be pretty cool. You know, I know this isn't that much of a game, right? It is in development and it's just kind of a screw around in VR experience, but that's all I've ever wanted from VR. Like, I just want to be behind the eyes of something that I have never been before. And in this case, a giant Megazord Thor, well, it's never gonna get old. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.